YouTube. You like my necklace? I made it. Okay, anyway. All right. So today, we decided to share with you. Okay. So, I think I said it before. My favorite store uh, for clothing and whatnot is The Gap. I don't know why she does that every time. Because I don't like the part in the center today, but... Hold on, let me see. There we go. Okay. Okay. So anyway, so we went to the Gap today. Well, actually, we're out and about because Madison was picking up some things. Ew. Anyway, so we stopped at the Gap to pick up a few things for school. Uh, some things for her from her summer job. Anyway, so from the Gap. Now, I know I I talked to so many people. Okay, so we're going to, this is Madison's haul. But I said we have to share this. Yeah, she paid for it. That's right. Finally. But, yes. I mean, for some reason, I thought you going to hit my thigh. No, I was like, yep. Okay, so anyway. I can't wait so, to have my own job. No more All than I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every parent has that desire for their child to have a job. Anyway, so I saw her today. She bought her own makeup. You want to talk about your makeup today? Oh. I already pulled it all out. Okay. So anyway. Whoa. You go. No. It's no, we're not feeding you again. The dog has learned a new trick. And it's, it's called pick up his bowl and chase it with a take When more. he's done eating, he will pick up his bowl and bring it to you because he wants more. It was cute at first. It's not cute anymore. And he's going to make himself fat if we listen to him. Yeah. Seriously, like... He's already like, well, you're supposed to feed him four cups, and we feed him four cups. So four we, cups per day. So if we feed him more, we're going to have chubby So anyway, chubby bunny. Um, some people will ask, like, why do I like the, the Gap so much? Well, the Gap... Wait, we're going on my makeup first. Okay. Anyway. I really like the Gap. I did um, a haul. Well, basically, I kind of went into her kind of... What, what's oh, it yeah, they you saw really in like the video some... before. No. We were getting ready for church. And they no, come and they I'm take not. all my stuff. No, I was talking about that Laura Mercier. Because I did get a foundation from some other. It was a lower brand. I'm not going to say what it is. But it just didn't work for me. And it made my skin oily. And my mom noticed. So she, I think we did this before. She took me to get a foundation. But um, at the time, I had a summer job. And I was like, yeah, man, I can pay for this. But I just need another week. Uh, and then we she were in there. <laughs> And she, and you know, it's hard, I think, when you're younger to part with your money, especially because my model is quality versus quantity. So, and also, Wait. they have sensitive skin, so you yeah. need to, if you're going to wear a foundation or whatnot, get, get a quality one, not just like a random one. And she tried to get a, you know, a cheaper one. But I could tell where it was splitting. Those of you who know what makeup, uh, but, wear I mean, makeup, you no, know what I'm talking sometimes about. Sometimes for some people. This is not about makeup. Oh, you just go do your haul. Oh, sometimes for some people, things like that can work, but I just can't. So I went to Laura Mercier, which is mom's favorite makeup people, and I turn out liking them too. Not brainwashing. Anyway, um, and I got the Candlelight Soft Luminous Foundation. She has it on now. I had it, and my mom tried me to get tried to get me to get hers you can't really see it i'm sorry tried me to get hers but it's just like a tint different but i like this one better i don't know bias and maybe. you can get closer so they can see it on your face oh oh and i have it on right now oh it's too much light yeah anyway um i really like it and i'm really excited and she for bought it. her first lipstick that doesn't include no i did buy a lipstick before but it wasn't like laura mercier like chanel quality I bought oh, one from the yeah. body shop. Yeah, so much quality. After you take it from your mom. Anyway, so I got this lipstick in the shade Audrey. And I'm going to say it's Audrey Hepburn because I love her. Well, she's dead now. I mean. um, I'm going to show them the color. Be careful so you don't break the tip. So I got this color. It's like a pinky red. And I have go, it on right now, but it's muted because I ate something. So Put your hand behind it. Oh, that's not, it's not on my hand right now. I tried something else, but it's this one. Anyway, and I really like it. 
and because I love customer service and I so let I'll just say this if you're ever at Crabtree Mall in Raleigh North Carolina and you go to the Laura Mercier counter ask for Tina so that's my shout out to Tina because oh, well, she's, she's like amazing or Stacy and they're just really nice no show the thing that she gave like, oh and because they're having a promotional week they're giving out some free items and to top it off with that purchase I got a free lip gloss you and can't it, see it oh I don't a free lip gloss it doesn't really have the name on it oh it's on the bottom if you want to oh the lighting is so bad I'm sorry and then I got a free mascara and I'm almost running out of mascara so I was like free thank you and then she was nice enough because I'm always in there. No, I well, I'm not always in there, but well, she gave me one of those. Let me see it. Huh? She gave, oh. She gave one of these. So I got one of these too. But, um, and also I went to the body shop once for make. Well, we just went in there to like look around. I like the body shop too. But, um. Their lotion. I, they had like a two for one buy deal. Buy two, get one free. So I was like, oh, I'll just buy some mascara and eyeliner because I was playing around with makeup at the time. And I really like their eyeliner and mascara. I'm serious. Like, I don't know. It's just really good quality. I haven't tried anything else yet, but from what I've had, this is the best. So I would definitely recommend that you get it. It's just like, <laughs> it, we have that. We can't do this. <laughs> we can't do this. So the reason why I said let's do a haul today for the Gap is because there's a lot of misconceptions. Gap clothes, you know, yeah, they. That's for some the people, makeup, I guess by the they, way. For some people, it may seem pricey. For other people, it may not seem pricey. It just depends on what you're used to purchasing. But I tend to get most of my things there, and that's because I just like the Gap. Also, if you're Gap savvy, and those of you who are know exactly who I'm talking about, you know that they have a discount almost every time you go in the store. So today, we were out and about to get her makeup. And I always say, let's stop in the Gap because they have a sale every day. I don't care what anybody tells you. Even if they don't have a sale online, there's a sale in the store. And they, you know, I didn't want to put my little Gap secrets out there. But I know there's like a little. Literally, um, she stalks them. I swear. I do not stalk and the Gap. I should own stock anytime in the she, Gap. Anytime she's wearing an outfit, and even if she's not wearing something Gap, she'll tag Gap. Like they want to see someone else's clothing. <laughs> <laughs> she does it all the time. <laughs> but let me just say this. Okay, so there's okay, there's a little system to it. And I think I've kind of figured it out. So it's like 20, 30, 40, 20, 30, 40. And I'm telling you, so if you see 40% off one week, the next week, because that's the end, that's 40, so it's 20, 30, 40. So the next week is probably gonna be 20%, then the following week is gonna be 30%, and the next week's gonna be 40. And then, okay, so today we went in there and it was okay. So we always head back to the um, uh, the wait, sales I have rack. I like this thing where I don't really like to buy full price. Well, that's if you go to a couple clients. of state sales, well, thrift stores, and you go and you find high end things. It makes it really hard to go back and like, buy. Like if you can buy Calvin Klein items. for five bucks. Yeah, if you can buy Calvin Klein or you can buy like. Uh, Diane von Furstenberg for three dollars, or you can buy. I mean. We found a lot of stuff. My favorite thing to find all the time. I mean, I find it all, all the time. I find it so often that I don't even have to go in the store. It's uh, J. Crew. It's like there's one thrift store in oh, our J. area Crew that's I love. is constant. J. Crew. And instead of spending eighty nine dollars or one hundred and forty three dollars for their blazers and stuff at the thrift store, I can get it for four bucks. I don't want people get rid of J. Crew because it's pretty. Well, they're tired of it. If you have a closet filled with it, doesn't you know you're not okay. like moving. Well, on anyway. to the jeans. Okay. Wait, I'm gonna explain it because I found. Well, it let out. me. No, you did yes, not. Sir. Anyway. No. No, no. 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 So this is what happened. So we go <laughs> to the sales area, and then what I always say is go find out if there's a sale because I'm looking around. And you see the sales rack, sale sign, and everything. So I said, go see if there's a sale on the sale item. So she's like, no, nah, there's no sale on the sale item. So I said, go and find out. Anyway, so she goes, the lady tells her that it's 50% off of the price. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. 50% off of the sale price. Off the sale before, price. That's already been reduced. And before we had already gone and looked, some of the jeans. Wait, we're, we're not there yet. 
Okay, so well, some of the clothes are like nine ninety seven. Yeah, so, so nine ninety seven. So we thought, we I thought like, like mm? that's kind of okay. Are you sure? So then we. So I'm like, okay. So then there's a lady standing like to our left. So I said, hey, I'm sure you already know, but the sales lady in the front says that everything in the store is. I mean, all the jeans right here are fifty percent off. So. She was like, no, I didn't know. And then, but coming out of another door, okay, okay. there was a, another sales lady who said, no, that's not it. Everything is just on sale. So I said, so I apologized to the lady standing next to me, but that sales lady went to talk to the other one that Madison spoke to and us getting really confusing. And then she came back and she apologized and said, apparently all of the jeans only today were 50% off the sale price. Okay. So, wait, Maya doesn't know something. Maya, buy the jeans, say thank you and bow. <gasps> I'm kidding. <laughs> so, I want you to know how much it cost, how much the original price were, the, the original prices were, so you can see if you haven't, I'm sure everybody shopped at the Gap, but here, it was like, this is how we, no, where's the top half of that receipt? It, I need the whole thing. Wait, this is That's the Panera. Wait, oh, my this. other favorite store that she tells me not to mention because I'm like plugging them. So anyway, so, all right. So we're gonna take out the first, okay. Everybody I'm sure shops at Gap. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. Hey, look at the tags, because this is only I showing don't... the sale price. Yeah, but it's showing you the name. Okay, so we have our first pair of jeans here. What's on here. that, by the way? Oh, so mine are gonna have to try this on to see. Well, I think mine where's the twenty seven. Anyway, well, I'm gonna fit the twenty seven too. So the original price on the jeans, these jeans were seventy nine dollars and ninety five cents. I don't know what they were. I can't get the other thing off, but they were today. They were nine dollars and ninety seven cents, which on here look for just one that was nine ninety seven. They were four dollars and forty-eight cents. So ninety-eight cents. For so for these jeans today, we paid four dollars and ninety-eight cents. I've seen people do hauls, but I'm like, I, let's do a haul where you didn't pay near nothing for the jeans. Okay, so you have another pair of jeans here. Those are yeah, those are. And is it twenty six? No, the original price on the jean oh, is sixty nine dollars and ninety five cents. The sale price on the jean was five dollars and five dollars and ninety seven cents, and we paid. I think this is the one at the top. Two dollars and ninety eight. Two dollars and ninety eight cents. Oh, it's really bright. Why is it getting so bright? Let me see. If I move the curtain a little bit. That made it brighter. It's set on automatic. Okay. Our next pair. Oh, oh why do they look so heavy? Oh wait, these are yours, Maya. Okay. So these okay, these pants were originally and they marked these down like six ninety seven. No. Oh, excuse me. Well they were marked down to So originally the mm -hmm. Are you gonna be able to see? <gasps> I don't think so. No. Oh, there it is, right there. Originally, they were sixty nine ninety nine. So I got them. Just we to... got them for three dollars and no. forty eight cents. Yeah, so they were six ninety seven. So they were three dollars and what? Forty eight cents. Forty eight cents. This is how I buy school clothes. <laughs> Wait, this is Maya's pile. Okay. Yep, these are Maya's. All right, so these. These jeans were originally $69.95. They marked them down to $9.97. Yeah. And then the price on them was $5.48. $5.48. Are you sure it was $5.48 or $4.48? $4.48. $4.98, excuse me. Sorry. Hey, we got another pair of jeans. Those are mine. Those are the ones I was gonna get that time they were the white bell bottoms. They're no longer there. Alright, so these pants, my Madison got these. They were originally 
and she we paid wait the sale price was nine dollars and ninety seven cents and I was and we paid nine nine we've done this several times so it's four dollars and ninety eight cents and that's the end of that I want to try this out I'll be right back no but anyway so let's end the blog <laughs> So anyway, I here you put that over there. Anyway, but I just wanted to do that. I didn't want to call it a haul or anything, but um, yeah, I just wanted to show people that I don't know why that brightness is going in and out. But anyway, the um, sun maybe. I just want people to know, don't don't there. discount like the Gap and what's that other expensive brand? They do Banana Republic. Same, not well, the Banana Republic does it too, but. Um, there's a pair. Oh, guess. They do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think we have a guest store near us. Yeah, there is one. Yeah. I'd like to go in there then and yeah. do that. They do the exact same thing. So they have like these percentages. And then, but anyway, I use, I go in there because I like to get the jeans that last. I don't know about anybody else. Um, my my gap jeans i've had now for like four or five years they tend to last me a very long time and uh and if you have a derriere then they come all the way over and, and they don't have that big gap in the back pardon the pun but the gap in the back <laughs> that where was you funny <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, this is where you have to pull the, because, you know, you'll have like, a, you know, a small waist and then you have your bottom and what have you. But those jeans fit me really well. And uh, <laughs> I had a store overseas that I, when we lived overseas that I went to all the time because their jeans fit me really well. So it took me a while to find a store in the U.S. that fit me really well. That fits where the <laughs> jeans fit really well. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. Make sure the next time you go in the gap, when you go in, go straight to the back or to the side. It's normally straight in the back to the sales rack. They normally have their dresses, everything. Before I buy anything online, now the ones that are really nice and they're really pretty colored dresses and all that other stuff and that, you have to buy that online because most time people, they sell out of those. But if you go straight to the back there's dresses jeans shoes shirts shorts everything and they take an additional 40 percent off most of the time on the sale price in the back just make sure you ask i mean all you can do is say no right but if you don't ask you don't know but today for five pairs of jeans at the gap we spent how much 22 dollars and i folded it up $22.84. All right, people. Thank you for watching. Bye.